Welcome everyone to Chef Henry Kitchen. Today I'm making pepper steak and this pepper steak recipe. First, I'm gonna go over the ingredients. I have some bell pepper over here, four garlic, some peeled ginger, some soya sauce, some organic honey, and I'm, this is what I'm gonna use for the glaze. Then I have some coarse black pepper. And with this pepper steak recipe, we cannot forget about the steak. Welcome again, guys. And this pepper steak recipe, I make it for my family and everybody enjoy. So I'm gonna make it for you all. I wash my hand already. And you want to wash your hands at all time. But join me over to the sink. I'm gonna get my vegetable wash so I can prep my vegetable. Now I'm gonna wash my vegetable. And you wanna wash your vegetable at all times. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my vegetable. I have my onion and I have my sweet pepper. But first, I'm gonna start out with the sweet pepper. So first you wanna cut the top off, just like this. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best out of your sweet pepper, how to remove the seeds. So you're gonna use a knife and let's go down right beside the stem. And you want to cut the pepper in half and then you want to just get some nice slice i like to cut up my pepper this way And you want a nice combination. Now I'm gonna cut up my onion. And you just wanna slice the onion down the middle. Then we're gonna cut up the garlic and you wanna chop up your garlic in fine pieces. And then you wanna go over your garlic. I'm gonna add the garlic into this container. And the same we're gonna do for the onion. And the reason why we separate the garlic and we separate the onion is because when we're frying up our steak, we're gonna add them separately into the pot. 
And then I'm gonna put the peppers inside this container right here. And then we're gonna grate our ginger. And then I'm gonna add the ginger back into the container and the tablespoon of ginger. Now we're gonna prep our steak, the most important part of this recipe because we're making pepper steak. I'm gonna show you something important. To get a nice and tender steak pieces, you have to cut alongside this grain. So the grain is going that way. You wanna cut to the grain. Just some nice thin slices. Now we finish cutting up the steak, the main ingredients for pepper steak. Now I'm gonna wash my steak. I'm gonna add it into this container. And you always wanna wash your meat at all times. Now I'm gonna add some vinegar. You wanna massage the vinegar into the steak. And then we're gonna run some tap water to rinse off the vinegar from the steak. And you always want to let the meat drain properly. I know that our meat is thoroughly clean. We're going to move back to the table where I'm going to show you guys when I'm applying the seasoning to the beef and let it marinate. And I always like to add different type of seasoning. You guys can check out the season label and I'm going to put it up on the screen. First, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Follow up by half a teaspoon of meat seasoning. Then half a teaspoon of onion powder. Follow up by half a teaspoon of beef seasoning. You can find this seasoning at your local grocery store. We just added season to lock in flavor into the beef. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of coarse black pepper. Remember, we are making pepper steak. And I made this recipe. I'm showing you guys my way of making the best pepper steak. And then I'm gonna add the honey. And that's 
equivalent to two tablespoons of honey. And the same with the soya sauce, we're gonna add it all, and it's two tablespoons. Followed by cornstarch. We're gonna add one tablespoon. And we're gonna save the rest of cornstarch because we actually gonna make the sauce when we're cooking up our steak. So then I'm gonna mix it in. And then we're gonna add some ginger. And then we're gonna add some garlic. And we're gonna save the rest of garlic for when we fry up the steak. And then we're gonna rub it in. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. You can use olive oil. And then I'm gonna mix it in as well. I'm gonna add some Syrian wrap. You can smell the fresh garlic and the fresh ginger. And I'm telling you, this pepper steak is gonna be flavorful. We just wanna lock in the flavor. And then I'm gonna place it in the fridge to let it sit for half an hour. Now we are working on the sauce and all you need two cups of water we're gonna add half a tablespoon of black pepper and then we're gonna add a sauce and then we're gonna add honey and that equivalent to two tablespoon of honey and then we're gonna add or a corn starch and then we're gonna whisk it around you just want to get rid of the lumps of the corn starch And then you're gonna see this nice color combination. And now our sauce is complete. Now it's the time has come where I'm gonna fry up my steak and I'm gonna make the nicest stir fry. I'm using the wok and this is a non-stick pan and I'm gonna turn my stove on. Then I'm gonna add a few drops of vegetable oil. Just enough to fry up my steak to give it a nice color. Then I'm gonna add the steak into the oil. And then I'm gonna stir it around. Oh my God, there is nice flavor. I can smell the seasoning on the steak. And this pepper steak recipe, it's gonna be good. And also, if you, you are following along, this recipe, I'm telling you, 
it's a good recipe and I make it already and I know everything is good and mm -hmm. my steak is taking color and you want to give it a nice crispy brown color and now that our steak is finished frying up now I'm gonna fry up my vegetable and I'm gonna start out by adding some oil into the pot and then I'm gonna add my onion with my garlic and my ginger and then I'm gonna serve them for a bit and I'm gonna be serving this pepper steak with rice and then I'm gonna add my sweet pepper and you don't want to fry these too soft and I'm gonna just throw them around and oh my god it's looking nice and now my pepper is finished frying up I'm just gonna add my steak And after I added my steak, I'm gonna add my sauce. I'm gonna let it cook down for 15 minutes. And now that my pepper steak is finished cooking, and I serve it to the rice, and guys, check it out. This is amazing pepper steak. And everything mm. went well with the stir fry. And guys, this is the best recipe of pepper steak. And guys, if you make it this far at the end of the video, I'm gonna say thank you. Please load me up with comment in the comment section. And guys, again, my pepper steak is the boss and I make it the first time and then I said I have to make a video to present to you all and welcome back to chef Henry kitchen don't forget to like share and subscribe and also share the video and thanks for watching